bombs. It's so heavy. Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make- Okay. I'll hit them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. I hope this is clear to you. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others... Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Of course. Compared to the mercenaries. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger and Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species. This guy. <laughs> Hyman still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Wait. Seriously? Remember? We went into the desert not long ago to exchange hostages with the Aramites. Come on. It was a remnant of King Deshret's bygone civilization, and we found some messages left by a priest of the king, and- Oh, it's- Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge, but the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, the Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the Withering and the Sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be? Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. But if that's the case... Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole... The world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some... technical work to do. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes! We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can-knowledge extraction? Look here. 
Huh? M more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into her head again? What's that look on your face? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of them. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, I'm I understand, but tr because to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything- It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But and that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. And this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh... A fool? A machine? A slave to orders, and that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries. Mm. But why would you need to identify the- You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... In Things you're interested in are really out there. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Small pro We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. But it's still the best plan we have. <sighs> As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> Ahitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. We agreed to work out- Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship. 
but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Wait! How can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Eremites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. That also sounds like something all Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't all Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me. There is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, You'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? <laughs> hmm. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. Well, now that you've put it that way, but remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendro Archon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Okay, you have a deal. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Guards! General Mahamatra! To... to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? They're a squad of Eremites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Because this is work. Because I trust- Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff! Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might run- We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure- First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left. 
which proves that the academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the general Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers, but things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm, that's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral print decisive and principled. You were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated chaotic mess. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive. And I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. And people will not be forever trapped by the past. <sighs> Paimon's so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. <sighs> will do. Just remember to stay vigil. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. <laughs> this is my assistant, the Traveler. She will be working with me. The construct next to her is for her work. Beep! Construct! Beep! What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map! In two days... We will engage Rahman's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now... We're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready.
Station. Let's go meet some... Alright, let's head off. Look! Over there! Our helpers have arrived already! Let's hurry over! <sighs> Wait a m- ah! oh, It's you! You're my assistant, remember? Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. <laughs> You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is, since this is a big case for the Academia. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are- Make preparations and be ready for combat! Halt! Oh? What a warm welcome! What do you want? Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A Matra from the Academia? I'm not here to talk. Oh, nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. The wind knows me. Ship! Gather! Allow me! My point goes! Woo! Max! Blast! Fallen leaves, adorn my knights into the wind! Sha! Stabilize! The wind knows me. It's over. Ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah! You pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all... Silence! Oh! Uh... <sighs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Ca yes, sir! Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. This part of the plan went really well. Yes. That's fantastic. And that punch you gave Ramon there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> It's not the time to celebrate yet. Go join up with her. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainori? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting.
stay close and you... Dia! We're here! <laughs> it's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> and here you come rolling in late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. <laughs> I just like seeing that s All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as- Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to- Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Yeah, we sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, it really gets by on the creep. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all Haytham and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. But Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill... I guess I can apply a discount. Uh, how much more do you want? I was- Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Looking good! I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. There are many kinds of smiles. But only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. Ah, Traveler, Paimon. And you are? Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. It's something really important. Please help us out. All right, then follow me. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay, what is this important thing you want to ask me? The doctor, huh? He's that strange-looking Fatui Harbor. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, he left Party's D.I. just a little while ago. Uh, he left already? Yeah, he came looking- Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met. But your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. 
Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. Hypasia? Why would he want her? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. <sighs> so you mean... You're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> it's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that un I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to- Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with Her Most Noble Majesty the Tsaritsa calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said. You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eye. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. 
Sorry we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the Academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe... something may have happened to him. <sighs> I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you were like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. All right. We've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant. And be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. I see. So you noticed something- This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. In that case, I must keep my promise, and help you however I can. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him! Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. According to Tainari, the doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. I want to check if the doctor was actually... T he also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. <laughs> that Harbinger may have tried to cover his trail, but he still left some traces. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. Yep, we're headed in the right direction. Hmm, the trail... Hmm, it's just as I thought. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. To the south of here is Port Ormos. 
which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. is crawling with Batui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in her homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... All smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. Look! Fatesadia's tracking skills seems we found the right place. Shh! Don't the port is crawling. Let's keep going and see. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. Hm. <laughs> So he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him.
The port is crawled. Let's keep going. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. Waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean, there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago. <sighs> so this was a trap. Wait. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. They might be after Hapasia. Let's- Huh? What do you mean? I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I- Oh no! Let's go! Party's DI is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do- I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave a- But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make the- It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Party's DI now? With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary- Well, you only have your Harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low- I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit- No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch! I'm fine. These Batuli have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. So there's no use resisting. Give us Hapasia. Keep dreaming. Yes, my Yari, The doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now! We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around- Got it! <sighs> Hypasia's still here. Well, how is she? Oh, that's good. So, you think this is over? What? 
Watch! The Balladeer is here! <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. But, uh, where is he? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Parties DI and made contact with Hypasia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness. Uh, who are you talking to? <laughs> I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hypasia's consciousness the moment I sensed you. I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes. What is it? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean? <laughs> Those words, but you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The con- All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. All gods need followers. So Hypasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. You're doubting me again? No, man. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told the doctor has never known his place? Even now, the puny human thinks I'm you're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to dis- It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable.
treated? Hey! He's hurt. I'm fine. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. It's all right. My wound aside, you look like... Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case. But... She's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Ugh. Ugh. The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. They always think they can push through the pain. Ugh. Oh, he sat down. Let me rest for a bit. <sighs> Sorry, traveler. Now you may start. Genius. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party STI. Don't say that. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the- You said the Balladeer claimed that Hypatia has seen his past, so- Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Have, in other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party DI. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. You can just focus on your plan. My wound isn't going to get in the way. Ugh. Okay. Get.
All right. How did everything go? Any... Let's report back one by one. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha Terminal. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party DI. The situation was a bit... complicated. But we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who was behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? Hmm. After some back and forth, we confirm that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnai, so we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting. Hmm. Good. Oh! Tainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. Hmm. Everything also went smoothly on my side. They have to avoid alerting the quarry. They will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? You know, to fire us up now? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. <sighs> I'll hate them, you... Uh... Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. I know that. So what? A scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. Employer? Yep. The Traveler hired me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah! Say something to boost morale! Huh? What are you all doing here? Oh, it's Nero! Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. <laughs> Uh, judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Huh? Join you? You mean, you also want to discuss something important with me? Yes, something very important. Nilu. Are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? I... I can't believe my ears! Ahem! <coughs> oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, but you are awesome as well. <laughs> That's right! I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but... I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay, I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? Yep, yep! It's a grand plan, and we're all super awesome! <laughs> well said. A good night's rest before an operation. <sighs> Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Alright, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep some- Okay. So I guess that means it's time to say good night now. Yep! Good night, every- <laughs> you two. Uh, not really. Paimon got too nervous thinking about today and didn't fall asleep until this split about you all hate. Naturally, I slept just fine. After all, y you just 
It's crucial to dissipate any tension before- The only thing you're doing is being annoying! Anyway, do you need me to go over the game plan again? Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. Many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. You know, Hyman's been thinking, what kind of technology could let the sages imprison even a god? That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. In the sanctuary of Suristhana, there's a device of Greater Lord Rukadavata's that she once used to isolate herself while meditating. 500 years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it could no longer be controlled from the inside. They were effectively trapping one god with the power of another. So, uh... Don't forget, today is Nyagarbha. The sages and all the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's... Uh, well, yes. That's just the... If precedence holds... Everyone should be in position. Let's go. Uh... So... Yes. Scribe? Please, wait. <laughs> That's me. Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not- And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. Outside guests? What? What did you say? That wasn't my intention. Look. Based on what you already know, the pr Is that so? Wait a moment. Let me think. The sages search for you. So, from the start, the sages weren't looking for you. Hey, shh. Yes, you've proven yourself as the top student in Haravatat. As I expected. Please forgive me. It's nothing. We'll be on our way then. All right. Now. I'm afraid I don't know either. You have no idea? Mm-hmm. He convinced himself of whatever truth he came up with. That is the so-called pride. Nowadays, the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Wow. So there are special ways to deal with smart people. We shouldn't waste any more time. Today, I found a really weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? Woo! Is this the Academia's? Indeed. Known as the House of Dana, it is. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nyagarbaha Day. Just act natural. What's this platform for? It's a lift that Academia personnel use to access higher floors. Are we gonna take it then? No, no. You think the Grand Sage will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location... I Allow me to offer you a hint. If you wish to know his location, look behind you. 
Hmm. Do not tell me you believed the Academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts. Great Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm sure. But compared to you, it's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Excellent. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. This place is crawling with guards. All right then, traveler. Today is Niagarbaha Day, so I still have... Hmm, if that is so... Trivial. Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? <laughs> worthless. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits, divine power, creating a god. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we f Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it. You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Care for the people? We are a people favored by Greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have... The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. Justification. Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves gods? As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Alhatham? Are you talking about us? Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler. An array of information about her ready for your perusal. Oh, hey, them. So you're... You're still on the Academia's side! We finally started to trust you! Hmm. Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors, as it is near Garbaha Day. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. Are you not familiar with the con- In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning- You're Despicable, hmm, perhaps from your perspective, but your ploy was to sacrifice the tr- uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been- huh. must I- first off, judging by the time- uh, me? The Academia had not- with their instigation, what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Regardless, that's only a guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my re- Indeed. Your boldness deserves pre- If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day, using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Should your intentions be discovered, all Haytham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler. As for Sino, according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. 
Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. Hmm. So flight is turned to fight at long last. Guards! Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Traitor. You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Hazar! <laughs> He has gone completely insane. Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. Thank you. 
<laughs> Paimon got a bit carried away there. How was Paimon acting just now? Great, huh? <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's probably done with his part too. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar! Oh, Haytham sure knows how to cook up a plan! What are we doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. <laughs> Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation, which is to send the Traveler to the confinement room. What? Why do we want to get her locked up on purpose? She's always been the person the Sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to the successful implementation of their plan. They are very aware of the risk she poses to them. Once the Traveler is imprisoned, the Sages will likely think that everything is under control. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. <laughs> I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. Oh, that's a super tricky plan. But Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. That isn't the only reason, of course. She has a more important task once she's in confinement. According to the Academia scholars in Rahman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever since she was captured by the Doctor. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Even if we break into the Sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. So our job- The confinement room is inside the Academia, close to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. It's a completely enclosed space, and I'll work with Raman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Once you're in, Get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali, however, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. Oh, no wonder you've been wearing your Akasha Terminal today. Paima thought they'd take our Akasha Terminals when they locked us up in here. Hmm, were they being careless? Sounds easy enough. We can finally talk with Nahida after all this time! There's a light flashing on your Akasha terminal. It's almost like... <gasps> the faster it blinks, the better the signal! <laughs> Here? Hmm. No signal again. Is it getting jammed?
and we're not here to hunt for treasure. When did it first start? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. I want to become a worthy Archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. But I'm stuck in the Sanctuary of Sarastana. The Sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nahida! Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? Am I really not needed? How do I really feel about all of this? It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? Who... are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. You're right, though. I won't... 
I won't ignore my own voice anymore. Mahira! Nahira? Did you wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just... When I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. You should have been angry ages ago. Huh? Oh, you're back! How's everything? That's wonderful news! When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was listening for any sounds outside. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's done with their Nyo Garbaha day stuff? Yep, so that means our next act is Nilo's performance! Nilu, are you sure about this? You're I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, but if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. All right. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. way to the academia. Better stick to the plan. Sure about this? You're I'm sure? <sighs> but if anything Don't worry. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. Always remember that your safety comes first. the way to the academia. Better stick to the plan.
Nilu. How's it going? Definitely more than usual. It's okay. Just focus on your perform. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. T well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this. Ooh, that sounds great. All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia. I was planning on telling them something like, the academia's been conducting a weird experiment. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, it'll be a piece of cake. Hey, Nilu! Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our ba- Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Vihar, thank you so much. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance. <laughs> you have a point. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but I heard that public performances like these have been banned I can't believe she's doing this here Grand Sage there's some commotion outside huh. how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards they'll know what to do I think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Come to think of it, when did Alhatham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Oh, so that's when he did it! Paimon was too nervous to notice. Speaking of, didn't Alhatham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos? When oh, it's a time-tested trick of his! <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. So Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely- But, this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was- It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Nyagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, 
I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, if someone were to be seen performing in public, the sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guards. Sure sounds complicated, but it seems like if everything goes well, that's pretty clever. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, people who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards and the academia are gone, then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the academia in droves. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the academia, this is our hunting ground. For a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. <sighs> all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty. Following those blasted sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary? Indeed. The trap has been set. All right. Let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Aesop will be the key. You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. You've got a point. Anyway, I think I see them coming. Good luck. Do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Okay. Got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. Hey! They're here! I can see the Academia Guard! Alright, it's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do that. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan. But there's no time. I need to make a choice. Huh? Did I just see something dart by? I'd better go have a look. Were my eyes playing tricks on me? I should go check to see if someone's hiding over there. Seems to be nothing here. Uh, just to be safe. Oh, good thing they didn't find me. I was close. I'd better hurry and keep going. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? 
How did I not see anything just now? Oh no, they found me. Where should I go? How is this possible? There are also academia guards here. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord- Oh no, they found me. Where should I go? How is this possible? There are also academia guards- Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Less- No, they- Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh no, they found me. Where should I- The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar! Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find- Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry! Huh? This place is- Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a personal grudge. After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the academia. Hmm... This is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Nia Garb. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Uh, Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the order to rest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that... that Lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release the- What manner of trickery did they employ? Disappear? Wait. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the- The Akasha indeed contains this information. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this Was it the report about the Traveler that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana? Confirm. N no it, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What if we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha are- Then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha. N no Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I- <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. 
Y yes, Grand Sage. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. It must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Ah! Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Oh. What a comical sight is our. <gasps> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino. The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. No, you were blinded. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. <laughs> then tell me. You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Under as for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you- So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I- You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? hasn't heard any sounds outside for a while. Yeah, but aren't you s <sighs> thinking about it? When Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone... Here comes your savior. You two really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, n no, n no, that's, uh, I'll pass. What are you afraid of? Ugh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The core of 30, as long as it does- That's probably be- The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know- Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. So, hurry to the Sanctuary of Surasth- We should have already rescued our Archon. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. Alright, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. See you around. It's nice to meet you. This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams, consciousness, or when I was in someone else's body. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me. During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this. Exactly! 
Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! <laughs> Thanks, you two. <sighs> Amazing! So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Um... This is... It's okay. There's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom, as their Archon, I will make them pay. Ah! Wow! That's the spirit! You're finally standing up for yourself! <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how it originally was, only operable by the Archon. After all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadovata's trust. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. If we don't stop the God Creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Might as well prepare for a fight! When we're done, we can take a walk around... Prepare for a fight! When we're done, we can take a walk around. On me in the Akasha. After that, I'll make some adjustments. On me in the Akasha. stop the god creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. I need to make some preparations. Might as well prepare for a fight! When we're done, we can take a walk around. You might as well prepare for a fight! When we're done, we can take a walk around.
I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant! Oh, also, this is for you! Huh? What's this little floaty thingy? It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! We're both small things that float! Oh, all the things that make Paimon special got copied! When Paimon appears with the Traveler Room now on, people won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore! <laughs> it's alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device, but you're the Traveler's irreplaceable friend. <sighs> You're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the Traveler was as smart as you. Hmm? I was simply telling you what I feel- Nahida, you're a natural at this. What you just said made Paimon even happier. By the way, there's- Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, I'm not very good at fighting. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. However, if we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'm glad I can rely on you. Hmm. So the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? I've located where the false god is. Time is of the essence, so let's skip to it. <laughs>
gonna get chased. Tisha, when is the new Tisha Town going to be released? Most likely next week. Bro, these people haven't touched grass in so long. What do you mean? Ethan Winters. Ethan. Oh no, I think the game is very broken right now. I'm gonna skip the cutscene, I think. Run for your ass, my brother! My brother! My brother, brother, brother! How you, how you do, do, do! Okay, I'm running.